So you see here the dam with the spillway, which has uh, six openings, and each opening is closed by a gate which has a dimension of about nine of nine meter. The dam itself has a height uh, above the foundation of about 130 meters. is very complex phenomenon because there are several uh, phases which are involved, namely water, air and rock. And so if the high velocity jet which comes out of the dam, plunges into the plunge pool, a lot of air is entrained and then the jet hits the rock and there it exerts very high fluctuating pressures. So these fluctuating pressures are very difficult to obtained by numeric modeling. So therefore, we have to do this physical model here in the laboratory. Knowing uh, how the pressure will act on the rock and how it will propagate into the fissures, we can predict how deep the scour hole will be in next 10 or 20 years. Okay, you see this scour hole is very cylindrically and the jet who plunges from the spillway is very concentrated and hits the rock uh, with uh, creating very large uh, dynamic pressure. Our idea is to open the, uh, the scour hole in downstream direction. Of course, we are limited by the two uh, outlet of the two powerhouse, so we have to carefully shape, uh, let's say, this scour hole in downstream direction. Of course, you may ask how it will be difficult because there is about uh, 80, 90 meters of water, how we can excavate this rock. So we will, in principle, drill from uh, from the surface, from the platform, uh, holes into the rock where we can then put dynamite and make kind of underwater blasting. In such problems there are some similarity laws which you have to uh, satisfy. So you cannot build this model at your home in a bus tube, uh, but you have to respect a certain uh, minimum scale. So here we, of course, we have checked that. And with the scale of 1 to 60, we can say that the pressure fluctuation which we will measure, we can transfer with the similar into the prototype correctly.